everybody, it's Kathy Champion and you're back with me here at Random Acts of Crafting and welcome in. Today, um, I decided that I was really, I really enjoyed doing the, um, the designer paper that I, where we made our own. So I looked through my stamps and I wanted to see what I had that I could use and I came across Beauty Abounds. Now this is one of last year's stamp sets but this one did not retire. So this one is available now and it will also be available after uh, June the 3rd. So this is a great stamp set. I was looking for something that would have some background images that I could use and look at this cute little speckled thing and then you've got these little circles on circles and you've got a larger one and a small one and then you got this small butterfly so let me show you what I have in mind I want to use uh, this one and this one oops and the small circles and also I've got the little butterfly um, lamp lined up or already on a block so what I thought I would do is I went ahead and cut a card base out of the Blushing Bride. And also I have a Knight of Navy. And I'm going to layer that on top. So now we need to have, and the reason I chose these is because of the ink pads that I chose. I've got the Pacific Point, the Balmy Blue, and the, brush, and the Blushing Bride. So these are the inks that I want to use. Um, for our card. So I'm going to lay these over to the side. Right now I want to let you know what I have my card base cut at. This is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and one fourth. And then I have the first mat that is four by five and one fourth. And that's going to layer on top of here. And I also have a piece of Whisper White. And I have that cut at three and three fourths by five. And that's going to layer on top of here after we do our designs. So let's let's get the stamping. That's always the fun part. So I brought in some different size stamp blocks so that we could um, load these up. Let's see, that one needs to be more in the center, and then this one. Now I'm going to start out with my. Um, I think I'm going to start out with the balmy blue. And this is such a very pretty blue. Now also grab yourself a piece of scrap paper. And I'm going to get a piece that doesn't matter if I stamp. Let's see. I'm just going to get a piece of regular copy paper because I think that's all we need for this. And sometimes just a scrap piece of copy paper is sufficient when you need them to do a stamp off, stamp on. So I'm going to lay this right here so that I can just use it for stamping off. I want to go in first with that balmy blue and this little speckle. And for this one, I am going to load it up. And I think I'm going to stamp... Oop stamp off and then stamp on. But I'm going to do on and off of the page like that. I'm going to stamp off each time because I don't want, and I'm going to turn my paper. Remember I told you all about turning your paper and it doesn't look quite as uniformed if you are turning the paper as you go. I don't think it really matters with this little design because um, it's really not in any order as you can see it's just a splash of color and it is so pretty I love the way this looks on here I'm gonna do one right there and I'm gonna do one right there maybe one here what's so nice about these little specks like this and especially with stamping them um, you know, second generation stamping like we're doing, uh, you can stamp over these with another color, the same color, a darker color, um, and it will look beautiful. So I'm going to lay my card over there, my card base, and I'm going to open up my little, my little chamois because I'm going to clean the stamp off. I don't like to leave ink on my stamps, even if I'm going to be using them again. I don't like to leave ink on them. Now I'm going to close my inks up even though um, I'm probably going to go back to this ink. 
I am going to close it. I don't like to leave ink pads open around myself because that's a dangerous combination. All right, I'm going to go in now with the larger circles, and I'm going to do that in this um, Blushing Bride. This is a very pretty pink, and it will look so good with this. And we're just going to stamp. And I'm not stamping off. I'm going to stamp directly. Let's see. I'm going to turn this and go here. And maybe here. And maybe down here. Um, maybe right in here. And like I said, it really does give some definition if you just kind of move your stamp and your paper around as you're stamping these down. Uh, and you want to do a little off and a little on. That gives a lot of character to your paper if you're doing on and off. And let's do one more right here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this off. And I think my, stamp, my chamois is ready to go to the sink for a good little cleaning because it looks very, very dirty. But that's okay. It still works beautifully. So now what I want to do is I want to go in with the smaller one, and I'm going to do it in the blue, the balmy blue. But this time I'm not going to stamp off. I'm going to stamp directly on from the ink pad to my paper. Like that. Maybe like this. Maybe one... Uh, about like that, and here, and maybe one off the side right there, maybe one off here, a little bit on this corner right there. So there we go. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? And, and this is so easy to make your own designer paper just by using some inks and some stamps. And you know, you're only limited. Hold on for me one second. Toby, Toby, come here, baby. Come here. Come lay down. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I do apologize, but um, my, my baby seems like he knows when I'm on the camera and when I'm recording because those are the times it seems like he's more apt to bark than any other time. All right, we've got pretty much everything on here that I wanted to stamp other than my butterfly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and just clean up a little bit of the sink because I don't want to make a total mess of the back of my card. And not that it matters, no one's going to see that because it's going to go down on the, um, the mat and it's not going to be seen. But... You know me, uh, if there's a way to make a mess, I can figure it out. And I can definitely get my hands in some ink. Y'all know that. All right. This is the Pacific Point. This is a much darker blue, and I'm going to show you. Um, if you take this directly down, it looks like that. And I'm thinking that that might be what I want on here. And I may even go in and do some real red because I want something to pop off of this card and I think these butterflies would be perfect. Now if you stamp this off second it's a much paler. Look at the difference in this one and that one. So that's I love these inks and I mean you could even go one more time and go even lighter and it almost takes it to the balmy blue. Um, but we're going to go straight in and I'm going to stamp here and here, maybe right there, and let's do one there, one there, let's do one right there, and now I am going to stamp this off, I'm just going to clean the stamp over here on that paper, and then I'm going to come back to my chamois. And I'm going to clean that stamp really good because we're going to go into some real red now. So I'm really giving this stamp a good cleaning because I don't want to cross-contaminate my um, 
Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my Stampin' Chamois and wipe this up since I've got it open right here. This little thing, I'm telling you, what an investment that is because you can use it so many different ways. Although I've got an ink on my case. Oh, something else I want to cover with y'all before I go. I want to tell you about these standard stamp cases. These are going up. Um, right now you get four of these in a pack for six bucks, which is a great deal. I use, I use one for this. I actually have my dies in my regular dies, like my, all of my circles and scallops, my ovals, my squares, and my rectangles. And I keep them right here where I can reach for them because those are dies that you will reach for time and time again. Um, I also keep my dimensionals in one. It makes a nice place to keep everything together. Um, these are going up. They're going up into, to $8 for four of them starting uh, in June 3rd when the new catalog comes out. So if you are interested in getting some of these, you've been thinking about it, go ahead and order now. Um, I will have the link below. I'll also have the order number for these. So if you do want to get those, um, you will have the order number as well. The reason I wanted to let you all know that because... I just couldn't in good conscience not tell you that and then you end up paying two dollars more for a pack of four um, I went ahead and ordered some myself for that reason okay I got the real red now that y'all know this is a very vibrant red see what I mean it's beautiful I'm gonna stamp full on with the red because I really want these butterflies to pop look at that is that not beautiful I just love making these designer papers um, like I said it's so creative it's so much fun and you know if you are in a slump where you just can't quite get your card to come together make some background paper it will absolutely jog your creative juices and the next thing you know you'll be putting cards together and say wow it does work I had a slump that I went through and I started doing some ATCs and that was the same way what by doing making ATCs and I'm going to cover ATCs for any of you that don't, don't know what they are they're artists trading cards they're little pieces of your art and you make them and when you go um, to any of the crafting conventions or a swap or whatever or even if you just want to send some happy mail to someone um, you can include an ATC and it's like a little piece of your creation you number them and you trade them and it's always so much fun because not only do you have a piece of that person um, and you can make a little catalog to keep them in. Some people keep them in uh, like trading card um, catalogs or notebooks. Just so many ways that you can do that and they are so much fun. So much fun to make. I'm actually thinking about um, doing a card uh, that will have a place to tuck in several of your ATCs and what a great way to send a card to someone look how pretty that is I love that it does look like it needs one more right there so a lot of times when I come back and I look at my card I'll say oh why didn't I put one right there so I'm going to turn that that way maybe right here and maybe right there that looks good okay we're gonna we're gonna leave it at that I am gonna do this again I'm gonna clean my stamp off over here this just saves me from having to um, wash my chamois out quite so often and the red ink is very pigmented and uh, it, some of you may be wondering the stamping up ink is a dye ink it is basically just like a uh, memento ink um, it dies into your paper so um, it is a very good um, ink you can out you can do your uh, blending your alcohol markers on it so it is a good quality ink and one thing I love about the stamping up ink pads they are juicy they are very very juicy um, 
some people don't like the fact that they're that juicy, but I love it because I love an ink pad that I don't have to fight with to get the ink onto my stamp. That's why I like the um, the uh, Versafine Onyx Black. But of course, we can't use that with our alcohol marker, so I usually go to um, to my mementos for that reason. But a lot of times with Stampin' Up, you'll see the Stampin' Up demonstrators always use their black. They will use the memento, and then for their um, colored inks, they will use the Stampin' Up uh, stamp pads, and that is a good combination. But me being outside the box a little bit, I love this for my sentiments, and I always will. I like it because it's a very dark it's a nice deep um, color. It is a, it, because it's a pigment ink, you just get a much crisper line with it, I think. Now, I have no qualms whatsoever with these Stampin' Up! inks. Well, I mean, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? So, let me bring over my uh, card base and we'll show you what we're going to do. I want to dry that off a little bit because I don't want to put my. Let me do this. Just dry it up a little bit so I don't put my wet my card base and my designer paper that I created. Now I am going to work on the mat first. And this is going to be a landscape card. So it's going to actually go like this. Just like that. And I need to decide how I want to um, put what on here. And I am thinking that I want to just do some plain, plain old circles. And I am thinking that I'm just going to go in and grab maybe that circle and this circle. Yep, I think those two just a plain circle because we're going to have a lot going on on this card. So I don't think we're going to need to do a whole lot. I did pull a piece of, these are quarter inch strips, and I want to do a point of interest on here, but I'm going to take this off of here first because I want to work my entire card from this piece first. Now I'm going to get my roller and I'm going to lay my ruler down on here and this Tim Holtz ruler is fantastic for this because see right there I'm a quarter inch that's a quarter inch that line is a quarter inch so I'm measuring up one quarter inch on this base I'm going to take my my liquid glue and I'm going to run a bead of glue um, right about here and then I'm going to lay this into that glue and just let it hang off I want it to come about to there and that's just going to be my guideline I used my ruler as my guide to make sure that I'm getting that at that quarter inch okay now I have another strip and I want this one to go a little bit further over this way or maybe this way yeah let's do it this way and we're going to do the same thing and I'm gonna, actually this time I'm going to put the glue on my strip just like that and I'm going to lay it down and I'm going to eyeball it and I want that one to hang off just like that and I am going to cut one more strip a quarter inch and I'm just going to sit this up here like so very willy nilly and I'm going to cut another quarter inch strip and I want that one to fall just like that and again I'm going to put the glue on my strip and I'm going to bring it over about like that and glue it down. Now do you see the interest we're creating here? 
by making those little stripes there. Now all we have to do is come over and turn our cardstock over and just cut these off. Just like that. And if you wanted to do one more, you very easily could put one more down. And I think I am. I think I'm going to put this one down right here. So again, we're going to put the glue on our strip. And this you could make it any which way you want it. Just like that. Okay. So now what I want to do is that same piece of uh, cardstock that I cut those off of, I am going to cut a large circle out of this, and I'm going to cut a small circle out of the Blushing Bride. So Knight of Navy and Blushing Bride. Let me take these to the um, uh, die cut machine, and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, we are back, and I have got my two circles cut. I cut the smaller one out of the blushing bride, and to follow through with that, um, with the circles on circles, I thought, how cute would it be to put one up and one down so they look sort of like the circles that we, you know, did like these. I thought that would be so cute, and it would be another focal point. I also picked out a stamp that out of the same uh, stamp set, um, Beauty Abounds, our friendship isn't one big thing, and then inside we're going to put it's a million little things, and I think that would be so cute. So I am going to stamp this, and I think I want to do this in the black because I kind of want it to pop off of the card. So I'm going to get my Memento ink. I'm going to grab the larger stamp block that I was working with. I'm going to line this up, so making sure that I get it nice and straight. And then I am going to ink it up. And let's stamp it. I'm going to bring it over this way a little bit so I can get over top of it. And there. Our friendship isn't one big thing, and then inside it's going to say it's a million little things. Isn't that true with friendships? You know, we are so blessed with the friends that we have in our life, and um, and I count all of you my friends. So Y'all are a part of my family now, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I am just, uh, I'm so thrilled to have so many people that um, I care about and that care about me. It just means the world. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to kind of offset that a little bit like that. So I'm going to put a little glue down because what I want to do is I want to pop this up. So I'm going to put glue on this side and I'm going to bring this in. I'm going to lay that down and kind of get a feel for where I want this to land. And I think something like that. That looks good. And now we're going to turn that over, and we're going to put some dimensionals on it. So, let me grab my dimensionals. And like I told you, I've got them nice and, and wrangled up in here in this little um, stamp case that works so well for so many of our craft supplies. These things are great. I've seen some people that's actually uh, use them for, um, they'll cut their papers, their different pattern papers, and they'll label them. And they store their paper already cut down into um, pieces of, that they would need for cards. So another great way to, to use those. So let me get my, uh, take a pick, and we're going to take these off. I love the way these wrangle off of here. Look at that. We can just pick them all up in one little flick. Let 
and you can actually see them when they come off so that is so nice that we can wrangle them uh, like that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down and I want it to hit right on the edge of those um, little stripes that I put on there now how about that is that not gorgeous and we haven't even put it onto our base so I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to go ahead and put um, some snail on the back of this just like so Oops. okay and now I'm going to lay, layer this on here getting that little quarter of an inch all the way around and now we're ready and I think I'm going to go with liquid glue on here and I'm going to put liquid glue on the back of this and I think the reason I'm going to do that is I've already got so much dimension going on I just feel like I want to um, do this down flat it's easier to do the, the liquid and uh, I like my liquid glue so I'm going to do the same thing here I'm just going to center it up just like that oh I love that I think that is such a cute card another little way that you can design your cards just using what you've got um, other than having the dies to cut these out and you if you didn't have a die you could easily take a, a little cup or find something round in your house that you could draw the circles and have two different size circles we could all also uh, stamp out a little pink butterfly and cut that out and that would be really cute um, and put that right there that would add into our theme so why don't we do that I'm gonna go ahead and stamp a butterfly on this pink paper and I think I'm gonna do it in the black because I want it to kind of emulate the uh, sentiment right there so let's stamp him right there. Look how cute that butterfly is. So let me bring my little stamp over here and wipe him off. And I'm just going to get my, my little scissors and I'm going to cut him out. So I'm just going to go here and here. And you know, he might work on my punch, but you know what? I'm just going to cut around this butterfly just like this. If y'all hearing sirens in the back, I think my husband has the TV on in the den and uh, I'm hearing sirens because I think he's watching an old uh, emergency or something that's on one of the cable channels. We watch a lot of old TV because we were talking earlier it is a crying shame that there's no decent TV anymore. I'm sure y'all probably feel the same way. Seems like everything has so much cursing and violence and either that or it's um, politically um, motivated. I don't know. Just usually not good stuff that I care to watch. So I'm going to cut down. I'm just going to cut a little V out of that out of the, where the antenna is at and kind of flip that out just to give a little definition right there and then I'm going to use one of the little mini um, dots these are perfect when you are wanting to put some dimension on something that's a little bit um, a little bit small like that is and look how cute that is sitting up on there so cute I am loving the way this card has come together now the only thing we got left to do I'm going to clean my mess up and I am going to uh, get a piece of white to go inside and we will be right back okay we're back and as you can see I have cut a mat to go on the inside and I just cut this out of white card stock and I cut it at four by five and one fourth and we're just going to put this inside here but before we do that I wanted to do just a little bit of something to 
decorate this just a, a, a hair. And I thought what would be really, really cute would be um, to maybe stamp this in the pink and the blue inside. So I'm going to grab my um, Blushing Bride and Balmy Blue. And I think I'm going to go with the blue first. And I am going to have a piece of scrap paper here because I want to stamp off and then stamp on. Stamp off and stamp on. And then I'm going to clean this and we are going to go... Um, And we're going to go into the Blushing Bride, and we're going to do a couple of things of it, and then maybe the, um, the little circles for just a little bit of emphasis. So stamp one, and then we're going to stamp off, and stamp, and stamp. Just to give this a little bit more interest, so I thought what would be really cute now would be to do the, the pink on the blue. So we'll just go like that and like that. And then we're going to clean our stamp and we're going to go into the blue and just go and maybe like that. And now I'm going to use that blue for our actual sentiment. So let's put our sentiment on here. Um, I didn't get the right one. I'm sorry. Let me pull the one that I want. It's a million little things. And that's this one right here. And we're going to put that right a little bit up to the top. Um, Something like that. I'm going to pull this down. And I think I want to stamp it in the blue. So we're going to ink that up. And I'm just going to stamp off over here just to make sure. Hmm. Maybe I want to do it in the um, black. To give it the same texture and feel of the outside. When I stamp that, I'm thinking that's a little bit pale. And I want it to stand out, so I'm going to go back to to my Memento, I mean my Versafine, and I'm going to stamp that sentiment in the black, just like I did with the um, sentiment on the front of the card. I think that will help it look all you know cohesive. So let's go here. Stamp that off. Yep, that's just what I wanted. And I'm going to stamp it up to the top just a little bit. So we have room at the bottom to sign. Just like that. And I'm thinking too, for just a little bit more emphasis, let's go ahead and hit a couple of butterflies. Maybe one here and maybe one right there. And one right there. I think that adds a little bit more interest to the inside of our card, and why not? So I'm just going to fan that a little bit, and then we're going to put some liquid glue on it. put this down, giving myself that little bit of a border around the edge, just like that, and just mash that down. And there is our card. I think it turned out beautiful. Um, it has a, a bit of a playfulness to it. I love the, the strips of uh, cardstock here that made a little bit of a um, a statement 
and then I loved offsetting my circles to match the offset circles in the stamp set. So I hope y'all enjoyed the making of this card, and I hope that you will um, try something similar to this. You know, pull out your stamps and your paper and just play with it. I mean, it's, it's fun. So you never know what you can create until you actually get busy and see what you can put together. I had no idea which way this card was going when I started. I knew that I wanted to use uh, these pieces here um, from the stamp set. I knew that these were my elements that I wanted, and I wanted to throw the butterfly in. Um, and I was pretty sure that these were my sentiments. And I pulled everything from this, from the Beauty Abounds um, stamp set. And that this is still available. And like I said, I will have all the information for all the products that I used in the description, as well as they'll pop up on the screen along with the measurements as I, um, as I go through the video. So you will see those as you're watching. Uh, I hope everybody has a very, very blessed Memorial Day weekend. And... Until we craft again, it is my prayer that you stay safe and healthy and happy and that you feel the presence of our Lord with you each and every day. And as I always say in closing, let everything you do and say bring glory to the name of Jesus. He is so worthy. And until we craft again, y'all are in my prayers and I love you all. Bye-bye.